Hey beautiful people, welcome and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Jin Langat. If you're a returning subscriber, karibu karibu sana to this channel and please feel at home. So on today's video, I want to do a refresh of my kid's bedroom. I don't know whether it's a makeover because everything that I wanted was not did not come into place at the right time. And uh, yeah, there's some things I was not able to do. But this is the before of their room. And I also had the shoe rack in their room. So you guys will be seeing what I'll be doing with this room. And then this was like a month ago. This was on Huduma Day, I think 10th of October. Yes, 10th of October. And uh, the fundi and his guys had come to pick them up. So he was picking the bed. Uh, the table, kitchen table that I had and uh, the dresser that I had. And voila. <laughs> so this was the old kitchen table that I had. I couldn't get a photo of it. But uh, since nilikuwa nimetuwa nisha chini, he was trying to, he tried to really make it stable and then painted it white. So this, my daughter was, is supposed to be using it as her study desk. And I love, love, love it. Please ignore my living room because this day, it was a holiday and the kids were home and it was so early in the morning. It was so early in the morning. So yeah, this is how the table was looking like. And I was talking to you guys in real time. Unfortunately, Kulikwana is so much noise outside. So he added that. He added this and the table became as firm as you guys can see it. And I love, love, love the outcome. The next thing that he also tried uh, to customize for me was the dresser that I had in my room. It had a very tall board that once had a mirror, but it fell. So he was just uh, supposed to cut it and just just customize it to look like a small uh, dresser or side table. And you can see it there it is. And then uh, the kid's bed was also painted white. So, yeah. So guys, this is my kid's bedroom. Let me switch on the lights. And there's so much noise outside. I've, they've been using it. They've been sleeping. I think it's been a month since I was supposed to do this cleaning and organizing. So I decided to clean their beddings. I decided to clean their beddings. And uh, yeah, I want to just do... Let's see how we can arrange or clean up this bedroom because i also need to change some of the pillows in this room because babu i think now i understand why my clients while go on a caterpillars are white <laughs> because they look horrible anyway so let me organize the room and i'll do it with you guys and then we see the turnout so you've seen the before of how this bedroom was looking like and she's been using this area to study and she's been using the poof. So she brings the poof here. And then before they closed school. So it's Germany painting a fade or something. I don't know. 
but we'll figure it out. No, no, maneno ya kalamu. So here she has, I think, some novels. Um, I think this is her notebook with some happy stickers. This is her Bible. Uh, dictionary. I don't know. She had some novels here. This is her Bible. This is a couch porch. And then I think this is her notebook. So I cleaned. Uh, we had like a, I'm sure I've told you guys we had the cleaning lady come. She cleaned the curtains for my room and the kids' room. So I want to just clean, wipe the surfaces and the furniture and then the window pane, this shelf over here, and then just uh, make their beds. So this thing is cutex. I'll get a remover and try and remove it. But I decided, if you remember this thing had that key long, I'm sure I won't get a photo by now for it, but it was fundi alikata and then akatutengenezeka kaivo so i've decided to bring it to this room because it's already locked so she's putting all her things in there and the reason why she's she's locking it is because my son i don't know whether it's at this age anything he comes across and i mean anything guys he will find a very good use for it so joy tries to hide as much as she can from him so that's why things are locked in there and i think her personal stuff so i want to wipe down the bed although i, I wiped it down when it came because it really ilikwana vumbi and when they were trying to fix it ilikwana na yeah ilikwatu na uchafu chafu so i'll just i think i'll just do a mini clean and then remove that pillow from there get them another pillow and then we'll see but for the upper bed i'll not be putting the duvet so we've come to realize the duvet cover we got nikidogo nikadogo that is and i was to go to gikomba this week i didn't manage so i'm just going to put the red cover on the upper bed and then we'll see how it will go i really love the black pillows so these are super super clean so let's let's just clean up really fast So I'll be doing a thorough cleaning of the room. I'll wipe down their bed. I'll also be wiping down the table, the uh, side table and the floors. And up here, I'm just going to wipe and I'll leave everything as it is. The bag, I'll leave it there because she's been trying to do her holiday homework. So I just don't want to stack it when to ifanyikangi because that bag stays there and I don't want to move it as well because I also don't like things being moved anyhow, Lee, especially when I'm busy or I'm already mentally prepared that it's there. Even the books, they're in there. I don't want to touch anything. So i'll return everything as it is and i'll just do the cleaning so i hope you guys enjoy and uh, i'm not done with this room i still need some shelves i still need a small rug for them and i still need a seat for joy as she's doing her studies or her homework and then the closet is another thing that only god knows i'm yet to even there's just one thing but my fundi decided mm how -mm, to a job. But anyway, let me do the cleaning and then to tie in the layer. I could be the one you talk to when you feel down. I could be the one you run to when the moon hits the ground I can say what I'm feeling but the words just don't come out If you ever feel lonely girl just know I'll come around Cause I've traveled too far just to get to where you are And I know that you're broken but that makes you who you are
If you've watched this video until this far thank you so much guys i thank you so much for the amazing amazing support and karibuni sana that is a welcome to all the new subscribers and thank you so much for seeing my channel worthy of your subscription to everyone who's watching this video thank you for seeing my channel worthy of your view so thank you so much guys so to anyone who's new to this channel my name is jean langat and i do a lot of cleaning motivational videos basically a lot of homemaking videos and i also get to tag uh you guys on my single parenting journey so please stick around for that and much much more so asante ni sana guys and i really really appreciate it so uh on this video i've been having a painting series but i will not be painting on this uh room i'll actually not be I will not be painting this room, uh, my bedroom and the kid and the living room. So that I'll be waiting for a professional painter to come and do it for me. Although it's not difficult, but I don't know. I keep feeling like I really need someone to help me do this. So yeah, that is what I'll do. If not, if I'm able to wait for someone to come help me paint it, or uh, if I'm able to do it by myself, I'll definitely tag you guys along. So um, these are the beddings that I got from Think Twice. So those are the ones that I'll be uh, putting in the kids' room. And unfortunately, one of the duvet covers is a very small size. So I'll not be putting it up. And I couldn't go to Gikomba last week. So... I will be leaving out that bed, but you guys will see how Nate's bed turned out and it was really, really cute. I need a scarecrow after what you did Cause all of the birds know that I'm almost dead I'm barely breathing I'm barely awake You left me in pieces There's no more to break Don't wake me up Not in this century Don't wake me up Cause you're just a ghost inside So uh, the mattresses are 
8 inches and these beds are 4 by 6 up and 4 by 6 down and they are so bulky the mattresses and it's always really difficult to make the bed but one thing I'm grateful for is that I was able to get new mattresses for these beds because we suffered or it was not at our time guys I I can't I can't believe it like I look at this bed and remember how we had three yo there's even a time the lower bed when I was sleeping with my kids there we used to use two tiny mattresses and we would put them together and then the upper bed had a three by six mattress but I was grateful we had a bed we had somewhere we could lay our heads so when we moved out I I just told God please like we just need a mattress for this to for this bed for it to be complete and i was able to get uh the four by six mattresses they're eight inches and then there's one of my kamukunji holes i'll put it up here that i got uh the mattress protectors because sometimes not all the time my kids wet their beds so yeah but right now let me say my girl is all grown but still i just want uh the beds to have the protector yeah just just in case too but i'm okay when and i'm okay and comfortable when they're like that because the mattresses are protected so it is always really difficult making these beds you can tell you can tell by how high the mattresses are and then uh the beds will never be straight because of the marking tosh but i'm happy i'm happy and i am so so much grateful guys and this was the turnout so the duvet that i bought for my room is the one that i gave my son because i had to dispose one of the duvets so right now as we speak i do not have a duvet for myself so yeah and my room just needs a whole huge makeover i really feel i need a new bed because i have a three three by 3.5 or three and a half bed i just wish and pray for a new bed a new mattress and just revamp my bedroom but i'm happy that the kids room is all glammed it looks so nice so i'll just need to get a rug and a seat for my for my daughter for her studies now again on the isley hall do you guys remember these curtain holders look at how they look and they are all of them they all look like that and i was so disappointed so so disappointed and then for my son akiona zinakaivi the guy just goes uh removes them and anaendelea kutoa ama anavuta so the actually this is a straw so when he pulls it <laughs> Ikshato kana ni ivo anaendelea tu kucheza nazo but this is the turnout of this room i'm really grateful and uh, like i said i did this uh, project with ola and i'm grateful for her i'm so so much grateful for her so my kids bedroom is all bright i'll be getting joy a duvet cover from i think i'll go to gikomba because that is where there are so many like kuna varieties in gikosh so yeah and also get most probably I, I will thrift a rug for them so i love love how it turned out and the next bed is so cozy and warm and i'm grateful for that especially during this weather so yeah that is how it turned out and i am happy just leave me a comment and let me know what you think and also one thing I'm torn about this room is painting it because I don't know what color I'll go for because at some point I feel I'll need a focal wall. Uh, I'm still not certain about that. But yeah. So thank you so much guys for watching this video until this far. I am so so much grateful. If you have, please leave me a love heart in the comment section and I'll really appreciate it. And uh, asantini asantini sana. I am so grateful, very very grateful. Please do not skip the ads if you are able to share me. Please share me out. Tell a friend to tell a friend. We're on the road to 2,000 subscribers before the end of the year. So, yeah, this is a small tour of the room. And you can see after removing the shoe rack, there's so much space. They have so, so much space. 
So up here I have um this container that has uh, the scissors, their flute, a ruler and that thingy that broke for the window, this dice or whatever cube it's called <laughs> and then you have their colors and everything there and the kiwi which I will not remove from there. So this is it for this video. Thank you so much guys for watching and bye.